Hello everyone, I'm Donna Bush with your CIG TV News update. Thanks for joining us. Well, the Office of the Auditor General held a press conference early Thursday. It was held to discuss the most recent report released by the Auditor General. The Auditor General's office conducted an audit to determine whether the Cayman Islands government is adequately managing land use and development to meet its objectives. Mr. Swarbrick discussed his findings at the press briefing. You can watch the entire briefing only here on CIG TV tonight starting at 8 o'clock. Well, on Wednesday, we told you about the role of the inspectors in the Health Insurance Commission. Today, we hear more about health insurance legislation changes that were made back in 2012. Here's the superintendent of Health Insurance Commission with more. 2012, there were a number of amendments to the health insurance legislation. Uh, and those amendments mainly took, uh, came into force in 2013. Uh, to name a few would be the portability of health insurance benefits which ensures that if you change jobs, your health insurance cover will be able to follow you. Secondly, there were significant increases in the provisions of the benefits under the standard health insurance contract, uh, including a wellness benefit, um, antenatal benefits, mental health benefits, and all those enhanced benefits came into effect in March 2013. Uh, and I'm pleased to say that uh, all the approved insurers have been selling that plan of benefits and we've seen a significant in uptake on the number of persons who are, have taken up health insurance cover. Uh, right around March 2015, uh, we actually reached a significant milestone, which is 55,000 insured persons in the Cayman Islands. Um, Right now, based on the numbers reported by the approved insurers in July 2015, uh, we have approximately 55,530 uh, insured persons in the Cayman Islands. We suspect that there may be still another 3% or so of the population that doesn't have health insurance cover. Well, earlier this week, the Department of Immigration, along with staff from Her Majesty's Cayman Islands Prison Service, the Royal Cayman Islands Police Service and Her Majesty's Customs assisted with the send back of 49 Cuban migrants to Havana, Cuba. The group who were housed at the Immigration Detention Center at Fairbanks next to the women's prison consisted of migrants who arrived in four separate groups on the 10th, 14th, 17th and 20th of June this year. Currently there are only three Cuban migrants in government's uh, care who are waiting to be completely processed by the department. Well, if you missed our news update, you can get all the details on our Facebook page as well as our YouTube channel. Also, we invite you to join Radio Cayman's uh, talk shows. That's For the Record, Week Mornings, and Talk Today, Week Afternoons. For now, I'm Donna Bush, as always, thanking you for joining us, wishing you a wonderful night, and I hope you'll join me here again on Friday evening. Until then, bye-bye for now.